Hello and welcome to a Xing Yuan set. Again, not seen them in a while, but uh, because they keep producing stuff that nobody wants. Um, I suppose kids want repeats and stuff, but uh, we don't. At least not on this channel, not the people who from other websites are actually collecting uh, bootleg and official minifigures. But anyway, here's something that's actually interesting. They release uh, two lots of Ninjago related products, sets, that are quite interesting. Here's one of them. I did get the other one as well, so I'll be filming that uh, later. But uh, this one is set number SY676. It does come in like a regular lot of Xinyan boxes, but when I order these, I don't get the boxes anymore because they're just a hassle to deal with and um, from what I can tell a lot of shops actually get the stock of the products that don't come in the box or they can choose to order without the boxes so that's greener that's you know less waste so yeah no boxes if you want to see the box out you know it's easy just google the uh, new Shingyuan number SY676 and what's it this is the dissection lot of figures so recently there seems to be a phenomenon not quite recently at least for half a year where people I uh, want to pick up figures with like half dissected looks to them and uh, so this is actually quite interesting thing for them to do in a sort of figure like style of uh, the little Lego style uh, I did do another Lego set with like fully printed like organs and stuff which is kind of creepy <laughs> like previously so you can check that out as well now uh, you can see all these figures come with a minifigure plate with a rotating stage. I've already mentioned that first. I thought this was kind of cool, kind of different, but uh, at the same time, uh, they really serve no purpose whatsoever. Because uh, it's not like you're going to put electronics in them and make them rotate on their own. And uh, they're just not easy for display purposes. And uh, see, so you got these katanas, different weapons. You've got this chain weapon here, and all these katanas are soft ish plastic, same with this big blade. Sides are made out of really hard and brittle plastic, just like, like regular pieces. This sword is also soft ish. The hammer is and fish is built, just like regular Lego pieces. And it also got some extra blades here, the kind of extra size. And this one actually has two tone colors. This uh, spear has um, this, uh, silver on the end, so that's kind of cool. Hot ish plastic though, so do be careful the kids don't stab their eyes out. That's actually quite pointy. It also has an extra piece here, that's because this figure right here, uh, well, not necessarily this figure, because whatever, one of the figures had two of the same pieces, so it couldn't be put together, it was back to front, so that wasn't going to work out. But other than that, the set itself is for the most part complete, it's just that, so that's annoying. Before we take a look at all the print quality, here's how one of these figures works. So basically you have regular Lego arms, so you can just unplug those. Um, you know, the hand rotates as well, just like regular Lego arms. And then you have the body like this, and you remove the hair piece, and that's totally fine. And here, this is where, where the stuff is different. Now, because they've in, like included this gimmick, there's no articulation of the head all the legs and these pieces don't separate because uh, it actually separates like this you see there's a cut here cut here and of course the transparent plastic is going to be different to that i don't know why they have a secondary face because you're never going to see it um so if i can just split this part again now the uh, solid color side of the figure goes um because uh, the piece actually held together quite tightly so i just had to use the uh Lego brick separator actually came in handy um, to separate it. And you see here, yeah, this even the back doesn't have any stud holes or anything, so I don't think you can plug anything to the back. But uh, this separates, and then you can, you know, remove the other front colored piece as well. And uh, this piece sort of stays in there. I suppose if you got two of these, you can make a full Lego skeleton, uh, which is kind of cool. See that? This is just like a Lego shape skeleton thing. Uh, kind of creepy, but yeah, you get the other piece and just line them up, I suppose. Kinda. Well, no, there's a backbone there and there's a flip cage. Hmm. Would be nice to have a full, just one set of these, but yeah. And then these two transparent halves plug together, just like the colored side. So just to uh, demonstrate, I'm gonna just assemble this back together. There's tiny little uh, peg holes here and tiny little pegs. Uh, these are really quite tight and secure, so that's fine. And then you can see that this uh, circle piece here, this circle area where the arm plugs in, um, is, is not, cannot be split. That's part of one half, so uh, that avoids the problem of uh, the arms making the pieces come apart and loose, so we don't have that. Anyway, there you go, that's basically the build of these things. 
All right, so that aside, the print job on all these, uh, well, Shinyong print job has been, for the most part, consistent and they're pretty excellent. So on the colored side, the print job is pretty good. The hair pieces do have that molding line just around the edge that's a bit more obvious than official stuff, but it's not too bad. And the actual hair pieces are just like, almost just like official Lego and stuff. And uh, the designs themselves, they're, for the most part, I think they look correct. Same as on the back as well, the print job for the most, Part of the torso seem fine. Secondary faces, they all look kind of like evil and sinister versions. They've got like red eyes and stuff. Uh, this face is a little bit square, so that's not very good. But, uh, eh, okay. But like I said, because you can't actually rotate the head, the secondary face print is kind of pointless. Uh, they could have easily skipped that in the budget. I'm not, really not sure why they print that. I can't even make it look like it's the front of the torso. So, Pretty unique set to get. I definitely recommend it. I hope you don't have a you know figure in there that's missing a piece or has the wrong piece in there. But um, not sure why they went with Ninjago, but still it could be like other characters. I wouldn't mind. But uh, yeah, if you like Ninjago, uh, they most likely went with it because it's the popular theme. Then uh, you like something a bit weird just for to go on display. This is a pretty good set to get. Um, I don't think any other brand has done it. So yeah, this is unique and special. Print job itself is pretty decent, but even if it wasn't, I still recommend it because the point of it is not to print all the details of the, you know, the colored side. The point of it is the transparent skeleton side. And uh, I think the way they did it is also quite a good way to do it. They didn't just like slap together like a weird skeleton bone thing and just glued it onto a regular piece. Um, it does suffer from, you know, less articulation, but um, I don't know, I think it uh, just as a display piece, it's pretty good. So subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And guys, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.